So I'm sweating because I had to turn off my AC because the audio was not working. So it's either me sweating my ass off or the audio. Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julio Cortez and this is a craft training. And if you're new here, welcome. I know that I said that I will be back next week and then the following week I wasn't here. That is because I made the conscious decision of instead of uploading weekly, I will upload every two weeks. This is to avoid for my content to run out. There are not a lot of things for me to do when it comes to musical packaging, so I do need to slow down the pace on me working on them. I hope you understand and I hope you're okay with this change. But anyway, today we are actually starting with a tutorial and I'm really excited to show you guys. And basically I'm going to show you how to make your very own CD card sleeve. Now I know that I already showed you how to make a CD card sleeve, this one, however, has a spine. And although it is pretty similar to its predecessor, there is a couple of difference between the two. So that's why I decided to actually make another video for them. So it's just a regular card sleeve, front to back, pretty similar. But the difference is that it does have a spine, which means that when you put it on your shelf, you can see what CD you are looking for. Um, now, I do mention this in the tutorial, but I'll show you again. There is a gap in between the card sleeve. That is normal. That will happen. As long as it doesn't come undone, you are good to go. So yeah, this is the tutorial I'm going to be making. It's a quick one, but I hope it really helps you out. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Start off by going into the description of this video and click on the link that says templates. This should take you to my OneDrive folder. In there, you will see three folders. Select the one called templates. Once inside, look for the file named CD card sleep with spine. Download it and open it using Photoshop. At this point, you should have this file. On the right is where we will have the cover of the CD with the flaps. On the middle, we will have the spine which is a thickness of 0.5 centimeters. And on the left, we have the back of the CD. Design as you wish. Make sure that when you are designing, you keep the blackout layer on top at all times. For the spine, if you are using a dark color, I'll recommend you to use the line tool to create a guide on top. Make it a subtle color that will be visible enough to see when you mark the folds, but not enough that it will be permanently visible. The ruler will help you make the line straight. After you finish designing your CD, merge all the layers together by clicking on one of the layers and then selecting Merge Visible. Once again, remember to place the blackout layer on the top. Following this step, go back to the description of this video and click on the link we visited previously. Once you are on my Wonder folder again and see the three folders, click on the one named Paper Sizes. Select and download the file called A4 and open it using Photoshop. Subsequently, your file should open and you should have this. Here, we will place our CD file to print it. Go back to the CD file and select the whole thing by clicking Ctrl A on Windows or Command A on Apple devices. This will create a selection of the whole area. After the area has been selected, now we need to copy the file. We do this by clicking Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on Apple devices. This will copy it to the clipboard. Go back to the A4 file and we will paste what we copy. We do this by clicking Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on Apple devices. This will place the image right in the middle. Afterwards, all that there's left to do is to print it. Just make sure that your settings are selected to print on real scale, no scale to fit or anything like that. If you don't want to print it this way, there's an easier solution. First, save the file as a high-resolution JPEG. Then open Microsoft Word and create a new document. Go to the Layout tab and change the orientation to Landscape. Select the Insert tab, select Pictures, and then Pictures from File. Import your image and it should place itself in the document. Select Positions and click on the Center option. Following that, double-click the image and change the size of the height to 16.60 cm. If you have this box checked, the width will adjust automatically. But basically, the CD file is 16.60 cm height and 25.70 cm width. Now that we have done all of this, instead of printing it directly from Microsoft Word, we're printing it differently this time. I have received some comments who have told me that by printing your file from Microsoft Word, the size comes a bit off. Like in this video, this happened to me but I brushed it off as it didn't happen. But it did happen. To fix this, save it as a PDF. 
then open it using Adobe, or in my case, I use Apple's previous view. Select print, and on the settings, make sure to select real size or scale to 100. If you move this setting, just by a bit, everything will be off and it won't work. After you've made sure to select the correct settings, print it out. I print my files on semi-shiny cardstock and I print my files at a local printer center. So I'm not entirely sure what brand is their printer. I think they use a professional laser Epson printer. I pre-cut my image to save some time during recording this video. At this point, all that there's left to do is to assemble the CD. I first cover the image with contact paper as best as I can. Then I mark the folds using a ruler and a tool. Then I cut the edges out, remove the contact paper from the tabs using an exacto knife and a light score. And then I glue the tabs in place using super glue. I place something heavy on top of the tabs and let it dry. And that's it. If you have a bit extra on the edge, you can just use a craft knife and a ruler to cut the excess off. Remember that there's going to be a bit of a gap between the front and the back of the CD. That's normal because we have the spine. As long as it doesn't come undone, there's no need to worry. For the label, you can watch my separate tutorial dedicated to only CD labels. But basically, I print it on sticker paper with the correct size, cut it out using different tools, and then I place it onto the CD as best as I can. Then I just assemble everything and we are done. And that is it for today's video guys, I hope you like it, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training and I'll see you in the next video, <laughs> not the next week, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye! -bye.